Hi, my name is and in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install FFmpeg for Windows. Now what you first need to do is go to this website here, ffmpeg.zeno.com for such builds if I pronounce that right. Um, I will put this link in the description so you don't have to type it out, you can just click on it. Uh, what you first need to do, well what you need to do is find your operating system here, either 32 bit or 64 bit and make sure you download the static ones. So select your operating system, well the the current the bit version you're using. I'm using 64 bit, so I'll click on this one. Um just wait for this to load. And you should get a download started here. It is in 7 zip, but um yeah, you know you can use WinRAR to open 7 zip. Um so just wait for that to download. Once that's downloaded, just open it up. And it should be done in a few seconds. Okay, here we go. Just makes it a bit smaller. Here's FFmpeg, and you get some files here. Now, what you need to do is go to um, your C drive and create a new. We can put this anywhere, but I just like to put it in the C drive. Create a new folder and call it FFmpeg, or you can call it whatever you want, but um, FFmpeg is relevant to what we're doing. In that folder, highlight all these from the um, with the 7-zip or the WinRAR or the downloads you've got. Highlight all these and just drag them into the FFmpeg folder. That will extract them into there. Um, and now we can get rid of the downloads. Um, now, what, now what you next need to do is you can actually close this down now. Um, and go to start, right click on computer and click on properties. And you'll get this. Go to advanced system, system settings on the left side. And then click on environment variables. Then on this top new one here, click on the new button. Uh, and then in the name type path and then the variable name, um, put it to the bin folder of that FFmpeg folder. So it was C uh, backslash FFmpeg backslash bin. Um, and click OK and then OK and then OK again um, and that's pretty much it you've now got FFmpeg installed on your computer now to test this if you type well, if you go to the command prompt and type FFmpeg dash version if this comes up with a lot of information then it's installed correctly if it comes up to saying it's not recognized as an external or batch file or whatever um, then it's not worked. So if I click enter, as you can see, um, I get a lot of information up here, and that shows that FFmpeg is installed on my computer. So that's how to install FFmpeg. It's actually a lot easier than it people are making it out to be. Um, so thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.